The pastel de nada is the quintessential Portuguese treat. It's an outside puff pastry shell, so it should be nice and crispy when you take a bite into it. And on the inside, it's a very silky, eggy custard. You should get that sweetness, a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of lemon, but it should not be overpowering. All three should kind of mesh together. Can I help you? Andrew Ferrara, his sister Erica Kudo, and her husband Kevin Kudo are the owners of Europa Pastries Coffee Shop in Fall River, where they sell dozens of pastéis de nata each day. It's almost ingrained in Portuguese culture to have those on the table. Andrew and Kevin were working at a pawn shop together, but were looking for a change. When Andrew noticed, the cafe he and Erica visited every Sunday when they were kids was for sale. It was kind of serendipitous that I ended up falling here. By the end of 2018, the trio had taken over the 20-year-old neighborhood staple and its renowned pastel de nata recipe. We've kept that recipe, we mastered it. We believe that we made it just a little bit better. I come in early as one in the morning. It's a long day. From start to finish, you're looking at like two, three hours. The most labor intensive part is having to hand open every single one. Making the base custard, pouring it in and cooking it, you know, that's like 45 minutes, but there's a lot of love in opening up each individual one. Holidays, we always joke and say we have to make infinity amount. It's got all the caramelization that you want on it, all the little dark spots. That's what makes it perfect. Our pastéis natte, those are our 100% best seller. A labor of love, this bakery is a tribute to the trio's roots. Their parents immigrated to the U.S. from Portugal. We're not going to forget who we were, but we're definitely trying to get to where we want to be. So I think that's the most important part. As they did with some of the recipes, the new owners also modernized the cafe. They beautified this place, okay? And I'm very glad. My husband and I, we come every day from East Providence. We love to come here. I've made friendships here. Those little things make the biggest difference. And I think that when your community can rely on you, we can also rely on the community to come right back. I used to be a flight attendant, and my husband used to be a director in the medical area. And after we decide to change the life, completely. In 2017, Natalie and Frank Bediar opted for a radical relocation, moving from France across the Atlantic to Boston. My um, uncle, he's a baker, so it was always something that we love, watch him baking, and we are like, okay, we should try to uh, open a bakery in the United States because we both love the United States. The pair worked out of another restaurant first, then ventured out on their own, opening Colette Bakery in Medford in 2020. Colette was a nickname of my grandma. She loved to cook and she was a very special person. The bakery's black and white mascot is a tribute to an animal they love and the two places they've called home. A mix, a French bulldog and a Boston Terrier. So it's a French stone, a French bakery in Boston. Colette's menu features sumptuous treats from all over their native country. We lived in south of France, but my husband was from Paris and I was from west part of France. Shortly after the Bediars opened the bakery, their son Valentin finished studying pastry making and moved to the U.S. to join them. The de Paris-Brest is very popular and it's a classic French pastry. It's for any occasion, all year round. Named for a bike race between Paris and the city of Brest, the shoe pastry wheels are covered in nuts and sprinkled with powdered sugar. A praline caramel filling is piped in between each layer, along with a hazelnut whipped cream. Their best seller, the classic chocolate croissant, is big enough to split, if you must, and a new addition, the Banafi, is a tasty tart with banana, chocolate, and cream. The first time we open, people always say, put maybe you add 20% more sugar in your pastry because American, they prefer when it's more sweet, we're going to do exactly like we do in France. And actually, we get a very good response. The response was so good, the Bediars opened a second location in Melrose, and now a third in Boston's South End. Their daughter, Clementine, finished her studies and joined the family business as well. Working with your family, it's the best experience in my life. 
that's the best decision that we made. Pastéis de Nada were first created at a Portuguese monastery sometime before the 1700s. The Catholic monks there used a lot of egg whites for starching clothes, then used the leftover yolks to make cakes and pastries. After the monastery closed, the recipe was sold to a sugar refinery. 200 years later, that business is still producing those tasty treats, and the original recipe is closely guarded secret. Next, the story behind this Polish pastry. Thank you.